Just do a clap. Oh, do you want to do the clap, G? Hey! <laughs> yes, guys, what's going on? Yes, guys, what's happening? Yes, legends, what's going on? Oi, Alana was laughing at me last time. Yes, guys, what's going on? I actually thought... I actually thought you nailed that. Nah, nah I'm just going to do a big loud clap. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah, that's good banter to be fair. That's, that's, that's good banner. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome back to another video. Session two with GYD. G wasn't quite happy with her first session. No. Why? Really. Why? It's just the consistency. I feel like my techniques improved heaps, but it's just getting that Yeah, she, she wasn't happy with the, with the first session. So guess what, Baz? We'll do a second session. Take two. Take two, but I'm going to put some of the bits in that first one in. That is going to make it in. You're, you're going to be very happy to know today, G, they are going to be doing a lot of finishing. A lot of like shifting it inside curlage today. A lot of that type of stuff. But I'm, Jonah whip. The Jonah Whip, as I was mentioning it before. If you're new to our channel, guys, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button. G, you ready? We're going to start off with speed and agility. Just a little bit. I don't want to gash you out. Into some board work. Get the touch going. And then we're in the goal. Today's session, guys, is nothing too crazy. Uh, G is currently preparing for the W League as a striker, we think, at the minute but we're not too sure. Could be a fullback, which could absolutely kill the planning of my session, but at the minute we're going to plan as if you're going in there as a striker, G, and you're going to bag goals for fun, yeah. just like you do in training. All right, G, we're going to start over here. Let's go. Right. Okay, G, so in here we've just got a line of cones. Doesn't have to be straight. We've got red, blue, green and yellow. We're going to work just a little bit on change direction. So you're going to come through, low position. Get into the middle of the box and just get on the bounce. First of all, know your colours. I'm just going to assess how quickly you can react. I want you to run past the disc as well. Three of these, G. Play. Footwork, footwork, footwork. Good, good, good. Nice and light. Green. Good, well done. On the way back, just have a look at your colours. Make sure you know where is what position let's get it a bit sharper now play toes 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 good good blue good nice nice extend it to four play everything done on your toes in and out good good yellow yes g you knew i was gonna say that didn't you? you knew it play last one shift 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 good yellow yes as long as i get one as long as i get one okay little progression we're gonna bounce in the middle and then react you're still going without the ball. Two without the ball, okay? Low position. Play. Shift, 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 shift. Good. Couple of bounce passes. Nice and relaxed. Left and right. Good, good. Blue. Shift, play. Good. One of these. Play. Come on, shift, 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 shift. Good. Don't drag your feet there. Nice and light. Left and right. Good. Just connect in the middle of the ball. Nice, nice. Good. Red. Shift, react. Nice, good. This stuff, G, I really, really want you to focus on this type of stuff now because we all know that you have electrifying pace just being able to run with the ball now the gaps are quite tight so focus on being nice and soft with it same drill but we're going to do it with the ball exactly the same as the first one but with the ball but we're going to go inside outside inside outside back of the ball bang set play set play as you come into the middle you're going to manipulate the ball with little iniestas and then i'm just going to call the color and you accelerate with the ball okay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Manipulate the ball in there. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Good. Green. Accelerate. Well done. One, two, three. Good. Four. Eyes forward. Good. Shift the ball now. Shift the ball. Eyes forward. Good. Red. React. Good. Well done. Nice. That one there, that's where we've just got to maybe, you're just starting to move your body early. Play. So you're just moving your body a bit early there. 
If it's blue or red, you should just be going with your right foot, bang, straight in there, okay? And if it's blue, right foot there. If it's green, left foot there, and obviously yellow, left foot there. So just try and get that into your head before we play in here. Let's go. One, two, three, eyes forward, four, five, manipulate the ball now. Focus on them touches, good G. Red, there we go. Look at that, look how quicker you change direction there. Look how much quicker and more efficient you change direction there. Okay, the progression now, G, <clears throat> I'm gonna change the skill and you're now gonna take your touch towards that color. Last one, all right? So as you come out, you'll play the ball to me and then a couple of bounces, I'll give you a nice early shout. Play it in, you're gonna take your touch towards that color now. In here though, we're gonna drag and touch. So drag and touch, bang, set, drag and touch. All right, when you get here, you'll play up to me. Couple of bounces, I'll fizz it in and give the color, take your touch towards that color, okay? Play, drag and touch. Good, maneuver your body. Yes, Georgia, perfect. Eyes forward now, zip it in. Nice, a little bit of a bigger distance pass. Good, we can check shoulders in here too as we receive. Nice, good, red, touch, set. Great touch, well done, good. Drag, touch, drag, touch, set. Good, start lifting your eyes now. Play, big distance pass. Good, nice and relaxed shoulders. Good. That's a terrible pass, Lee. Shoulders. Good. Good. Blue. Get there. Great touch. Killed you. Back in. Double. Central. Play. Set. Good. Nice and relaxed. Shoulders as we go. Don't do no look pass. Good pass, then look. Good. Good pass, then look. Good. Yo. Touch. Set. Well done, G. Touch. So we're getting tired now. Focus. This is your last one, G. Eyes forward. Let's zip it in. Nice and relaxed now. Shoulders, good connection, good. Good connection, good. Good connection, well done. Red, touch. Yes, great body position, dribble and play back in. Good, ah, sorry. Good G, play. Nice and relaxed, nice. Middle of the ball, keep punching it in, that's a bit soft. Punch it in, there we go. Blue, touch, push, great touch. Nice, last one G. Shoulders as we go. Keep punching it in. Good, punch it in. Nice, great pass. Everything we do is middle of the ball. Nice, green. Touch. Yes, G. Set and play. Well, hey. And that's why we train. It's so, so important. It's so, so important. The two before that is why we train. All right, G. Um, Two boards, one's obviously longer, one's smaller. We're gonna start on your strong foot though. Jump on the ball for me. Let's get the basics in. Let's get the basics in first before we go into the big part of the session. So we're gonna pull off, check our shoulder. All right, I'll get the iPad going on the second set, but for the first one, I just want you to get your touch, play, stick, play. Back to the pole, shoulders, okay? Stick, play, stick and play. During the drill, I'm gonna say transition across. We're then going to go across the other side and work that left foot passing. So notice how I'm receiving left, playing right in here, receiving right, playing left. Low position, stick, set, play, good, good. Back to the pole, shoulders, good. Stick, fizz it in, set, play, great touch G. Come on, play, make it stick, set, stick. That's your best one, last one, come on, last one. Play, back foot, set, play, set, good, slow transition. Straight into it, five or six on this side. Play. Good, expect a, ba a bad pass back. Nice, nice, good. I want that consistency, G. Low position set, get rid of that bobble on your, on your touch, because that makes your pass bad. This is coming in hot, it's coming in hot. Touch, touch. Last one, last one. Set, play. And relax, good, your last two, perfect. Two scans all together in the drill. So pull off, two green. First touch has got a stick, G. Now I'm gonna try and find the middle of the board, really, really important. Touch then comes back on yourself. Play, open out quickly, three red, and then you're gonna bounce back and reset. Okay, so once we play that ball around the corner, gotta get into that body shape to scan again, okay? Again, we're still in the phase of just getting the basics right, G, and then obviously we're transitioning across the other side. Walk through the first one, play. So it sticks, boom, fizz that in. Round the corner however you want. Body shape and scan straight away. Bounce there and then reset. Try and do that one touch, okay? Here we go. Play. Stick. Set. Play. Set. Round the corner. Play. Play. Yay. Good. Well done. Four more. Four more. Play. Stick. Fizz. 
Good, get that pass a bit quicker for me. Set, play, good, reset. Switch that mind on. Correct, set, play, hook, great touch. Ah, Lee, that's the touch I want, G. Play, stick, play, touch, hook, play. That's your best one. Good, transition across. Definitely more comfortable at receiving the ball on your right side. Ready, G? Play. Stick. Play. Set. Hook. Play. Deal. What a pass. Play. What can you see? Nice. Touch. What can you see early? Good, G. Good, G. Stick. Set. Stick. Ah, oh, G, you're on fire this side. What's really hard is when we're just starting to get tired, huh? And that's, with you, when you're working, that's what you've got to really focus on is being in control of your, of your thoughts and your decisions when you're really tired is, is hard. I right, pull off, nine red. It's got a stick again, but however, we're going to really fire this one hard now, G. And you're then going to go kill it, move it, reverse it around the corner, get the extra bounce, and then reset. Okay? So the only difference is now, we're going to pull a little bit wider, play this, make sure you're playing it from quite deep, but play it firm, G. So as a nine, you know, and we've talked about this in loads of sessions off camera, that ball being, a, that, that ability to make the ball stick is so, so important. So as a nine, you'll be getting balls wrapped into your feet with a lot of speed. Make sure that you're playing it firm into the board. And I want to see how well you can get that touch to stick, move, play. Okay, let's go. Good. Stick. Set. Fire that. Good. Kill it. Shift it. Reverse it. Good. Set and play. Good. Well done. Play. Stick. Fizz it. Play. Kill. Move. Reverse. Set. Play. Stick. Fire. Fire. Ah, lovely touch. Lovely touch. Good. Two more on this side, G. Yes, four red. Kill, G. Here it is. YouTube, I'm allowed one bad pass. Play. Touch. Fizz. I've actually done two in this session, raging. Good, last one, G. That was a great set, by the way. Stick, set, fire. Kill it. Good, good. Slowly walk across the other side. Got it. Two bad passes in the session, G. Not good enough from me. Okay, you're tired now. Let's focus. Four or five on this side, then you're going to get a drink. Play. Well, Focus on receiving everything with your left now. Kill it, move it, play, play. Good, good, bobbling, well done. Yep, yep. Yes, 20 red. Stick, play, stick, play. G, great set, great set. Although, YouTube won't know this, but we do. That has come on so much. Like that has developed so much over the times we've been training. Just that foot needs to move a bit more, G. So as you see, we've got to move that foot to then get to the side of the ball. If you don't move that foot and it stays there, it then sort of sometimes becomes like a, one of them, like a, a dragger. So kill it and shift the ball so then you can then focus on your second phase. But for everyone that's watching, like that, only we can see that, G, on how much that has improved in your game dramatically. It's just obviously now being able to do that with a bit of pressure behind you, which obviously it's a one-on-one -on -one today. I can't just create defenders out of nowhere. However, we've talked about it. Being able to get that ball to stick with a bit of pressure is obviously difficult. But we've got to work in an in environment where there's no defenders first. Kill it and move it. Kill it and move it. Good. Just oh, good, good. Out, 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 out. Good. Take your touch. Great touch. All right, G. Literally, this next part is it's no rocket science, G. We're just going to do repetition after repetition after repetition. Okay. Super simple, but I really want to hone in on the skill and the finish. So, G jump as a defender. We've got a pile of balls here. And what we're going to work on, G, is what, like I've mentioned to you many a times, that curled finish on how we see it at the Premier League, at the top level. I'm going to show you ways on how we can get on the inside, which is that lethal right foot of yours, to try and find anywhere in that side netting. Drop a bit deeper, so I'm actually going to go a live defender, but I'm not going to tackle you. So we're going to just do a little bounce, and then it's a 1v1. What I'm going to try and teach you, to teach you in the first one, G, is I'm going to draw you that way to then open up the space for me to go in there. So rather than going 1v1, what I'm going to try and do is draw you out, and we're going to work on an inside-outside movement. 
exactly what we've just been doing on the board G, which is a kill it and shift it, but we're just gonna step into it. That movement there is gonna draw me to maybe think that you're going down the outside. And then really important G, we're gonna shift it and finish as quick as possible. Because in a game, you're gonna have the center half maybe, or other de defenders or the six coming in to try and block your shot. So once, we've draw once I've drawn you in and I've done that quick one, then I've got to get my shot off as quickly as possible. Okay, so it's a quick one too. I'll come and engage you. Touches, touches, touches. We're going to work on a touch and a torch. Hips open, bang. That's perfect, side netting, okay? Jump on the ball and we're just going to keep going and I'll coach you on the run. Ready, play. One, two, yes, come on. Come on, good, good. Shift it, nice, finish. Perfect, again, quick one, two. Touches, drive in, drive in, drive in. Good, good, finish. Perfect, again, quick one, two, set, touches, touches, good, drive, cheers for coming, right, the only thing I would say, G, just walk through this one, quick one, two, engage me, now, stop there, rather than doing that, it's a double touch movement, so you can use a body feint, yeah, so can you go, can you go inside to outside really quickly, that's what I want, remember though, where's that touch need to go? Try and get it out your feet, so, you're, so like, we've, like I've taught you in previous sessions, so at least you're getting two strides into the ball. Okay, ready? Quick one, two. Quick one, two. Play tight, tight. Touch, touch. Touch, touch. Good, good. Whip that. Good. You see how you didn't quite get that speed into it? Again, again. More, t more touches when you're dribbling and engaging against me. Play. Loads of touches. Good, good. Nice, nice, nice. Can you? Oh, unlucky. It's not bad. It's not bad. This is why we practice. Ready? Play, play, engage me, engage me. Yes, that's a one, but you weren't. Good, I'm just gonna coach that one. Good, that was the best skill you've done so far. But where did you do your skill? Yeah, and you were too far away from me. So if I was actually live there, I would have just blocked the angle of the shot. So there's a word I'm using as we're going on there is engage, you've got to engage me. So yes, play. First of all, I want to engage you. Once I get to this distance, that's when you want to try and do it. And you really, you've, we've been through that technique before, but we're really wrapping our foot around the ball. So you did it on that one there, it was beautiful. So key word there, engage me, get to one meter, and then, then shift it. Ready, play, good. Touches of the ball, touches, touches. Yes, good, good. Now we've got to get that touch right. Again, 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 play, set, set. Let's go, good, shift it, yeah, good. There we go, bang. Great finish. Draw, draw me in, draw me in, draw me in. Good. Shift it. Nice. Strike. Great goal. Well done. Great goal. Well done. Now, going to be a bit more picky on the finish. It's a tight angle. It's a tight angle and the ball's having to travel quite a distance. So you need to be a little bit more aggressive in the way that you're going through the ball. So you need to generate more spin and more power because of the angle that we're at. Quick one, two. Ready? Play. Set. Drive in. Drive in. Drive in. Good, good, good. Perfect, well done. Good. You're being more aggressive, just start the ball a bit further out. Let's go. Start that angle of the shot further on the post. Good. Drop and go. Nice. Go on in. Oh, aye, hey, that's better. Caught the ground first, so therefore you lost your spin, yeah? Play. One. Good. Two. Engage me. Engage. Drop and go. Good, good. Hey. And that's why we train. It's so, so important. It's so, so important. The two before that is why we train. I gave you the feedback on why it wasn't right. First one, you didn't start it firm enough, so that means your hips may not have been open. You didn't start it enough on the outside of the post. The second one, you did, but then you caught the ground first. And then the third one, bang. That's why we train, G. Now, with the rest of the balls, think about what you did in that last one and just repeat it. Play, set, set, come on, engage, engage. Try and draw me into the box. Good, see how you're too far away and keep coming towards me, good. Whip that, good. See that one there, go back in. Remember, as a defender, I might come to you or drop off. If I'm dropping off, engage. Where do you want to be hitting your shot, G? Yeah, as close to the goal as possible, so, all of that is determined from what I'm doing. I'm, not, I'm, I'm trying to mix up what I'm doing with you here. Yeah, I might come out to you, I might stay. 
you've got to read that so if you've stayed get yourself into the box tree engage and then we can go bang bang shift it boom oh one of them's gonna come let's go good go on take engage 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 drop and go lovely lovely that sound of the side netting is music to my ears play good one two come on come on engage engage good 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 great strike though wasn't it gotta understand the timing is crucial doing it at the right time is crucial don't do it too far because i'll just come in and block that you want to engage me get that one meter and then we try and shift the defender and score okay so obviously we've just worked on a little inside outside skill now we're going to work on something that's so so simple but so effective g a little scissor so play i'm going to engage you again engage you again just one of them boom and then we finish ah ball's flat but plenty of speed on it good engage engage good yes go and explode adjust your feet there well done great finish you have to sometimes see that one there that could be another fake shot with the other defender coming in okay g this is fantastic we've had keepers that have turned up it's a little bit false sometimes shooting in the in the goal shot now with keepers you might not you might not be curling it in that far side you might have to reverse it into the near post now i want you to use the scissor or the inside outside it's up to you okay i might throw in a third one but i feel like they're just the basic ones to get you on that right foot that one there see where you like didn't quite sort your feet out that's fine that could be in a game where you're having to beat another defender and shoot you see that happen a lot so important you keep the ball close as you're engaging okay keepers ready play yes one two one two good good engage engage good good and explode nice gotta get that touch beyond me oh my god Got to get that touch beyond me, G. Try and go more towards the goal rather than up backwards and out. Play. Good. Good. Get your touch right. Engage. Good. Good. Yes, yes, yes. Be aggressive. Oh, my God. What a save. What a save. I thought it was a guaranteed goal. Listen. Perfect. Play. Play. Good. I'm deep. I'm deep. So get at me. Get at me with speed. Good. Good. Yes. Finish. Good. You see how I stay deep? Your first thought should be get at me with a bit of speed. Good. Set. Finish. Oh my God, back in, let's go. What a strike, by the way. Play, come on, 1v1, 1v1, good. Engage, engage, good, good. Yes, yes, be aggressive. And that's why we reverse it. That's why you've got to look at the keeper's position in YouTube. Ready, play. Good, little set, adjust your hips. Strike, good, target, working the keeper is good. Play, yes, come on, touches. Know where I am great effort but you didn't always your your skill that's why it's a bit false in here but your skill has got to be facing me and you've got to adjust from my movement okay don't just do the skill for the sake of it you should be looking at me like you would be in a game and then we go good engage engage yeah nice nice that's perfect that's perfect the i didn't really look at the finish great goal but the move and the touch and where you did it was perfect. It, was the, it wasn't too far, it wasn't too close. You sent me that way and it was everything was perfect about that. Play! Good, look up. Connection, technique, beautiful, beautiful. Should be a save that, by the way. Play, play, pop it in, pop it in. Good, tight. Engage me. Miles better, miles better. It's so much better. There's the ones that the pros like YouTube is the pros like sometimes to go down the outside. So if the centre half or fullback is completely blocking off that path, they'll throw in like a scissor and go down the outside. So whichever way they're showing you, take that option. But you always want to try and go on the inside from this area in particular. On that side, you might want to go down the outside. It's really good. Let's finish this off. We've got three more. Ready? Fizz it in. Fizz it in. Set. Play. Good. Adjust. 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 Stop that. Finish off this set. Finish off this set. Play. Fizz it in. Fizz it in. Good 1v1. Engage. Engage. Nice. Nice. Probably probably just end, of, end it there, Baz. Play. Good. No, no, we won't end it there, Baz. We'll keep going. Let's go. Come on. Finish your set, G. Stay in the moment. Stay in the moment. Come on. Engage. Engage. Draw me in. Nice, nice. 
You're on fire, G. Should have been a save. Stronger hand, but target is that's why we hit the target. Play. Good. Set. Go on then. Ah, lucky. I do do this one bad one in there. You know what I mean? Come on, G. Finish it off strong, then we're moving on. Play. Come on, come on, engage. Engage. Good, good. Far out. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ball collection. G, very simple. I'm going to keep the session simple. We've obviously done a few sessions, a few drills last week. This one's now, we're now moving on to what you need to be very good at is finishing from central areas. Right foot, left foot, cut back. It's that simple. So moving on what we did on the boards, we're now going to do now. So I'm going to pull off, check our shoulder. You're going to kill it so that it stays in the middle of the two yellow. You're actually 1v1 with the defender. I just talked to you about that off air. Kill it, even throw a drop if you want, but it's got to all be natural, remember? So we've got to try and do it all in one motion, so play. So it's got to be a one, a two, and then we finish. Bang. Okay? immediately I'll fire it in your touch has got to go beyond and then strike with your left foot okay don't do that come back out the box double movement whether it's inside outside bang outside inside whatever and then a cut back from there Wrexham let's go kill it move it good strike change your speed change your speed beat the player good up Brad out back out the box good check good fizz it oh that's a tough one Back in, that's where you get your jog nice and slow, okay? Play, kill it, move it. Good, good, got to get that touch to stick. Great finish, take it in your stride, touch, good. Back out the box then, movement. Good, yeah. Oh, right, good, nice. Back where it come from, got to get your feet in a better position. Speed, take it in your stride, much better. Much better, out, check. Punch it. Yes, five push-ups, baby, at the end. Kill it and move it, kill it and move it. Good. Just walk. Good, good. Out, 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 out. Good. Take your touch. Great touch. Be aggressive. You're leaning back. I'll we'll take it. Play yeah. check. Nice. Change your speed. Push through. Oh, oh. Nice. Well done. Good. Right, ready? Ready? Play. Good. Kill it and move it. Perfect. Slot it. Delicious. Oh, change your speed. Go. Go. Beat the player. Good. That's perfect. This is the set. Oh, this is the set. Good. Push through the ball, G. Right. Yes. Oh. Job done. G, stretch, warm down, go home. Play! Kill it, move it. Strike. Same. Kill out, kill out. Lock the cellar Strike. Good G, keep it in the target. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go on. Good. All right, G, you tell me what you did wrong there. On that one? Yep. Thank you. As long as you know the coaching point, you ran ahead of it, yeah? So then you ended up having to try and score from the ball behind you. Hey, 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 hey. Play, play, good. Kill, move. Great top G. Oh! oh pull out. Just keep this one low. Keep it low for me. Oh, lucky out, out, come on, out, out. Good. Well done. That one. Guys, it. Yes, G, low. Yes! Oh, yeah. oh, 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 Okay, guys, uh, G, excellent over the two sessions. I just want to get a little bit sloppy here, like a little bit cheesy. <laughs> guys, if someone like G, who plays at W League level, is working so hard on her game three times a week, twice a week, then all young players should be doing it, G. You know, and you're a great example of that. You've already played at one of the highest levels you can reach, and you're always looking to improve your game. And for me, guys, that's what the professionals do really well. They don't, they don't just stop there. They keep going and always try to improve their game constantly. Um, so that's why it's so important to do sessions like this. But more importantly, G, take it into your games. I'm really looking forward to watching you rise in the W League, G. Yeah. <laughs> Keep that one quiet. But great effort. Today's session was unbelievable. Some, some absolute bangers there, G. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I was. As I said at the start, it's just getting that consistency across the sessions, but happy with today. It's not easy, though, because you're just getting so many touches of the ball, so you're constantly tired. That's what we're striving for. Anyway, if you got this far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Baz, thanks for being a legend on the camera. See how I thanked you there, Baz? Yeah, about time. All right. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Peace.
Yes, guys, if you really enjoyed this content, then you will absolutely love our members area here at Jonah Football. We've just added a brand new perk as well, which is game analysis for players and also analysis for coaching. Check it out. We have three different tiers. Read all the information carefully. Loads of exclusive and unseen content at Jonah Football. Click the join button now for more information.